It's almost that time of year, so why not talk about the only Cars on the Road ghost that has been released as a diecast so far, Mallory Carhut. Ooh. One of the three mysterious ghosts that follows McQueen around the hotel and then later goes to the ballroom in the Cars on the Road episode, but is left unexplained after this point, leaves us with a very mysterious set of questions about Mallory Carhut. Like, what is her story? How did she die? Why is she a ghost? Why is she haunting this hotel? And why is she getting up to go to this ball in the middle of the night? Those are certainly things that many of us have wondered, I'm sure. And McQueen Queen never gets those answers, instead he just moves on, and then we're left to be speculating about these. She has a 40 style car model, which is very similar to the Thomasville racer ones that we have seen, especially River Scott. She shares some striking resemblances to him in her overall model, rear, and tires. However, the front of her seems to be an all original mold. Therefore, she certainly would have not been hard for Mattel to produce, and I certainly don't mind that because personally, I really like these type of vehicles. Mattel certainly exceeded my expectations in releasing Mallory before Diana Giordato, who had already been released as a color changer, though I suppose that means we'll be seeing Diana Giordato as a diecast very soon. I cannot compare Diana to Mallory because I do not possess Diana, no pun intended. I really like how her expression is pretty accurate to how she appeared in the show, showcasing her jagged teeth. On the front grill section, which by the way is a plastic attachment that is permanent, there are some really nice decals picking out the headlights, which have a lighter lime green color, as well as black for the grill. Though her wheels front bumper, back bumper, and side mirror, as well as visor are all made of plastic. The green color matching on them is spot on, which I'm very pleased about. Though she doesn't have much decals to speak of, I really do wish that the decals for her eyes and license plate were less grainy. I think Mattel really tried to find a glowing green color to use for the paint, and I think that opting for a matte finish was a good choice in order to make Mallory look as glowing and illuminating as possible. Now, I wouldn't say that the green here is a 100% accurate. However, what they've got here certainly is not bad and I don't have any complaints. The windows are opaque green plastic inserts, which I think would have been better if they were transparent to make her look more like a glowing ghost. And thus, for once, we have a ghost car in our diecast collections here in the form of Mallory Carhut, a character that we really know nothing about, but it's fun to speculate. Leave down in the comments below what you gather about Mallory Carhut. I certainly would love to see a lot of other ghost cars released from cars on the road, which I think would be easy for Mattel to do considering that most of them use pretty common models that have appeared with other cars diecasts. And I would say that in the foreseeable future, we'll probably be getting diecasts of the other two cars that followed McQueen in the hallway and the Wraith Rod, which will certainly have to be a deluxe, but I'm sure we will get in some form 